Ah, yes. Now that's better. Now, what did I do with my folder? Ah, I forgot it on the stage. Just one moment, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you a bit about our program today and what we have to offer. Our first presenter of the day will be a woman by the name of Diane Ferlate. She is an internationally renowned storyteller who has unfolded her tales all across the globe. She believes that telling and listening to each other's stories not only helps us learn about each other, but also helps us to understand each other better. For her, Traditional art form of storytelling is something that promotes literacy, imagination, and values in our youth. Our second performance of the day will be by Ms. Rukia Shahin, who is an outstanding teacher and storyteller who has been working at Ihlas Kolegi for over 10 years. She strongly believes that a good storyteller should use a story like a magic wand and should be that strong standing bridge between the story and the children. She says, you can't do it with your muscles, but you can do everything with your imagination. And following Ms. Rukia Shahin's performance, we will be having a small coffee break. And speaking of coffee, what did I do with my coffee? Ah, yes, there it is. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you, sitting in the front row. Could you please bring me my coffee? My throat's getting a little bit dry. And while I'm waiting for my coffee, I really hope that you are enjoying our performance today. We've worked very hard to put on a great presentation for you. So enjoy this technological magic. Ah, there it is. Thank you very much. Much better. Now, following our coffee break today will be Ms. Jane Kadvalader. She has been a teacher and teacher trainer for 30 years and has experience in telling stories in schools throughout Europe, South America, and Africa. She has published a primary course book and many EFL readers. She is also the author of a bilingual book called The Tooth Fairy and Raton Chito Perez, published by Scholastic USA. Oh, come on! Now, whose cell phone is that? Please, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you to turn off your cell phones during the performance today. Thank you very much. Now, following Jane will be Mr. Alec Williams who works as a storyteller, trainer, consultant, writer, and speaker. He tells stories to all ages, from young children to adults, and his repertoire includes traditional stories, poetry, and contemporary books. He's worked everywhere, from schools to nursing homes to museums, shopping centers, and even outdoors in the park. And following his performance is going to be an excellent show by Mr. Vezel Telictimir. He is probably one of the most well-known sand artists in the world, and he uses this art form as a way of expressing his feelings and touching the souls of others. Using this original and sophisticated art form, his sand animation in combination with music works to demonstrate the product of the human mind, imagination, and creativity. Following his performance, we will have a lunch break, so we will be taking one and a half hours to eat. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? Uh, would you please just uh, take your sandwich off the stage? Uh, this is not lunchtime. Lunchtime is after Vesel Chalikdemir. Okay, please go off the stage now. Thank you. Halla, halla. Now, 
Our next performance will be by Ms. Jan Blake, who is one of the leading storytellers worldwide. We had the pleasure of getting to know her last year as she gave an unforgettable performance about an old woman who rolled in a pumpkin through the forest and had to outsmart all of the animals living there. Jan Blake has been performing for 25 years, specializing in stories from Africa, the Caribbean, and Arabia. She has a well-earned reputation for dynamic and generous storytelling. Following her performance will be Ms. Nina Prentice, a teacher and teacher trainer who has worked in educational publishing in Kuwait, illustrating an Arabic Sesame Street magazine. She has developed and piloted an extensive reading program for the Ministry of Education and has run several teacher training programs. Following her will be a rock star performance by Mustafa Kenjasoy, who has been working as an English teacher in private schools for seven years. Besides working as a teacher, he also sings in a rock band, and he considers his classroom the stage. This year, he has started a career as a story singer, and his album of classic tales will be out soon. Following Mustafa's performance, we will have another short coffee break. And after the coffee break, well, you don't want to miss that. It's going to be an amazing show by a man that some of you already probably know, Mr. Sali Mamajan. Sali Mamajan, the most popular Turkish cartoon artist, earned his reputation through his political cartoons, comic strips, and commentary animations. His political cartoon strip, Bizim City appears on the front page of the Sabah newspaper, while his comic strip, Sizin Kiler, appears on the back, on the back page. Memajan's editorial cartoons have appeared in major U.S. newspapers, including the Washington Post, the San Francisco Chronicle, the Baltimore Sun, and the Philadelphia Inquirer. And following this performance is our grand finale of the day, Mr. Kevin Locke. He will be performing The Hoop of Life. From his early Lakota influences and from his extended world family, Kevin has learned how we each draw from our own individual heritages in order to create a vibrant and global civilization. While clearly expressing his traditional Native American values, he also draws from the deep wellsprings of other tribal and global knowledge distilled over many generations. Well, thank you, but I am not finished with my performance yet. Well, I think the audience might like to hear about the ancient historical methods and linguistical techniques to storytelling. After all, this is a storytelling conference, right? Now, these methods have developed over thousands of years and they're important. <sighs> oh, really? And what would you propose that we do to start off the storytelling conference? A rock song? A rock song. Okay, well, let me just remind you that this is a storytelling conference, an educational conference, not Saturday night in Taksim at the Rock Bar. So if you wouldn't mind, would you please Go to the back of the stage and be quiet. Now, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I would like to begin my speech by talking about a monomyth or a basic pattern whose proponents argue is found in many narratives from around the world. This widely distributed pattern was prescribed by university professors among the... Excuse me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, please don't do that. No, 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 no. Somebody, somebody stop her. No, please don't do this. I don't want to go yet. Bye. <laughs>